Hey there, nation. <clears throat> Welcome to the show where we help you to play miniatures war gaming on a budget. It is I, Commander Cheapskate, and we are back with another edition of Spoils of War. This is a series of videos for cigar, beer, as well as risky reviews, and today we are taking a look at another cigar by the Western Tobacco Company from their series of Black Ribbon Cigars. This is their Maduro offering in a Robusto size, which is 5 inches and 50 64 of an inch diameter. So last time we worked on one of these Western cigars, we talked about their Connecticut shade, and now we're back again now with their Maduro shade. Now, in case if you're unaware of how cigars come in, cigars are usually wrapped in different types of tobacco. The wrapping is the outside layer. So once again, if you go inside the inside here, you have the different layers. The middle layer, you have the filler. Then you have the binder, which is another tobacco that is usually wrapped around the tobacco to keep the filler in. Then finally, you have the wrapper, which is the very outer casing. Last time we looked at it was what's called a Connecticut shade wrapper. It's a very light tan color. This one is Maduro, which is often a very dark brown, if not uh, black. In some cases, they come away in black uh, shades as well. Traditionally, uh, the, usually the lighter the cigar, the more mellow the flavor is usually on a cigar, whereas the, the darker the wrapper, traditionally, the more intense or more concentrated the flavor is. In this case, it is a Maduro. Uh, usually, people who like Maduro cigars are looking for my, kind of like a stronger, kind of usually have coffee notes added to it. It's very rich, very thick. Um, the oil of uh, the cigar smoke is very, has like an oily texture to it. So, uh, texture to it. So, if that's the kind of thing you're looking for, this is the review for you. So, that being said, we're going to take a look at this. It's got a uh, five inches and 50, 64 some inch of diameter, like we said. Very, very kind of toothy kind of wrap on it. It's got a very nice kind of sandpaper texture on it as well. It's got nice tight seams. It's got just a regular triple cap on it. Let's go ahead and uh, see what kind of aromas we get off of it. Very, very sweet kind of, um, kind of like a coca, almost coffee aroma is what I'm getting from the notes on it as well. Also it has a little bit of a cedar to it as well, like a hint of cedar sweetness to it. So if you ever like been around like cedar timber before, uh, it's kind of, like, kind of like this very semi-sweet uh, aroma. And that's what I'm getting off of this again. Let me, let me try it one more time here. Hmm, very nice. Once again, just a very semi-sweet aroma as well. So like I said before, the Western Tobacco Company is located within Missouri. It's about, oh, about 10, maybe 15 miles north of Kansas City on the Missouri side of the Kansas City, Kansas border between Kansas and Missouri. Uh, the company is actually uh, locally owned and operated as well. They usually mainly use Nicaraguan uh, tobaccos for both the wrappers as well as the binders for this. So traditionally, Nicaraguans usually have a more of a spicier taste to them especially to the flavor to that. So I'm looking forward to trying that out as well. I've had their Connecticut before and we reviewed that last time. They do offer another one in a uh, Sumatra, which we'll do on one day on uh, a video as well. So we're gonna try this out. Nice thing about the Western Cigar Company is they actually make the cigars actually in-house at their store. They actually have their leaves shipped in. You actually see like cigar makers in the back actually rolling these things by hand with binders and fillers and everything. In fact, actually, if you order a set of cigars from them, you can actually watch them actually assemble it right there. It's actually pretty impressive as well. So, we're going to go ahead and light this up. We're going to do the reviews into thirds. So we're going to go through the first third, let it burn through, taste the flavors, what kind of flavors and aromas we get from that. Then we'll move on to the second third, and finally the final third of the cigar, and talk about the flavors we get from it, as well as review it. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to light this cigar up, and go ahead and start with the first third. Okay, so we're back now. As you can see, we have the foot of the cigar actually lit up now. So this is the actually the initial lighting. Lights up very, very quickly, also very nicely as well. So we're gonna give this a couple of puffs real quick and see what kind of initial flavors we get on it. So there we go. Hmm. Right off the bat, the uh, the draw on this is actually very tight on it. It's kind of kind of like a constricted draw. I think that's just because it's a new cigar. And as uh, you know, it's in the very initial parts of the cigar, so it's probably going to take some time to heat up. And once it does, of course, it usually draws through pretty quickly. That's usually the case in most cigars as well. Uh, flavor, very, very uh, mild actually for Maduro, especially for Nicaraguan. Usually when you smoke Nicaraguan, you usually hit with this really pungent zestiness, this real big spiciness that usually accompanies most of Nicaraguans. But this one is actually very mild in my opinion for Nicaraguan as well, especially for Maduro because Maduros usually have a very you know, intense flavor. That's why people usually smoke this, but it has a very rich coffee flavor, in my opinion. Uh, the smoke is a very, very, has a kind of like oily consistency, like I said before. That's very typical of Maduro's. But uh, the spiciness is very, very mild on it and very intense coffee flavors. In fact, let's go and try the retro on this one. Hmm. 
Hmm. Very smooth on the retro hill as well. Usually when you smoke a Nicaraguan cigars in the initialness, initial light and you do the uh, retro hill, it has kind of like a zestiness to it, like I said before, like a spiciness. Very, very smooth consistency throughout. Very enjoyable cigar. It's got a nice creamy texture to the smoke. Very rich uh, cocoa flavor. We're going to let go ahead and let this burn through the first third and uh, talk about the review of the flavors we get from that uh, after the first third. We'll be back with that review here in a little bit. Okay, so now we are back with the first third fully completed. As you can see, we're starting to break into the second third of the cigar now. Very, once again, the flavors throughout the first third are very, very consistent. Kind of like a mellow kind of coffee flavor. Very, very smooth. Uh, the zestiness of the uh, of the spiciness, usually of to uh, Nicaraguan tobacco, uh, it kind of is very, very mild spiciness. There's just a hint of it, usually on the retro hills where you kind of get that detection of that spiciness, but very all... Very, very smooth, um, very creamy and oil texturing as well with the flavoring. In fact, uh, well, now that we're starting to the second third, let's go ahead and give this a couple of puffs real quick. Mm. Once again, very, very smooth kind of coffee, cocoa flavors throughout. The smoke has a very oily consistency. Zestiness is just a little bit at the end now. Um, it's a little bit more prevalent than it was before during the first third and that's because um you know because it's starting to heat up now we're trying to get the second third now so the zestiness usually does in uh, in most nicaraguans usually kind of go up in intensity as time goes on but so far very so very far of our um just an excellent smoke so far excellent quality next construction's got a relatively even burn line burn time on this is approximately about 15 minutes to get to the first third so if i was to guess it's probably be anywhere from 45 minutes to about an hour in length in smoking so very, very delicious cigar so far. Mm. Like I said, very much cocoa and coffee, uh, very minimal sweetness, uh, zestiness starting to increase just a little bit. So with that being said, we're going to go through the second third of it now, and we'll come back for the final third. Okay. So now we're back, we just got done with the second third of the cigar. Like I said before in the other previous reviews, very mild, uh, very rich kind of coffee and cocoa flavorings at this point. Zestiness has actually kind of remained kind of mild throughout, which is really nice because um, some Nicaraguans, especially when it comes to the spiciness of Nicaraguans, can be a little too, uh, a little bit overbearing in some cases, and we're to the point where it's kind of tasting kind of ashy at that point. But uh, this cigar actually does not have any of that as well. As you can see, the burn line on this is still relatively uh, even. Excellent construction, and now into the final third. So that being said, let's go take a time a couple puffs of the final third and finish up this review. Mm. Mm. Very much, this uh, very much just smooth as always. Uh, very great, uh, rich coffee flavor, coca flavor going throughout. Uh, the sweetness has kind of gone away at this point. But the uh, zestiness of the uh, of the um, cigar, the spiciness of it, has gone up just a little bit. I would not say very much. It's enough towards there at the aftertaste. So you can kind of taste the spice of the aftertaste. But I think that has to do with the more of the fact that we're in the final third of the cigar and the heat is getting close to the nub. I mentioned before that the initial life, the uh, draw was kind of tight. But after the second third and at the beginning of this last third, uh, very loosened up at this point. So now it's much easier to draw. Let's go ahead and take a hit from the uh, retro hail real quick and see what kind of uh, notes we get from that. All right, very, very, just very rich coffee aroma. It's very creamy as well as oily with the texture of the smoke. Just an excellent all around well-constructed cigar. So that's good to do it for this one, you guys. As always, please feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. Your guys' input's available to us as always. Also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, Plus, as well as blogger.com for all the latest and greatest about our hobby. That's good to do it for this one. As always, guys, you guys stay classy and big puka. This one's for you, buddy. Peace out, you guys.